Y and R spoilers, the monster may be mental illness developing Sharon thought that Connor may have post-traumatic stress disorder, but his disturbing behavior started long before the hostage crisis. Viewers of The Young and the Restless will recall when Connor was living with Nick, Chelsea, and his younger brother Christian Newman that Connor locked Christian, four years old, in the garage after dark, luckily Nick found him unharmed other than scared. Connor also screamed and broke a lamp in his room, and claimed it was an accident. He could have oppositional defiant disorder odd, or conduct disorder CD. He could also have childhood schizophrenia, hence the monster being very real to him or even a combination disorder. Schizophrenia usually doesn't start until after age 7 even if it is early onset schizophrenia, but there can be early signs of its development and Connor shows some of them. Connor may have locked Christian up because he felt like Chelsea was paying more attention to him, and it got Nick out of the house while looking for him for a short time. If Connor feels that Sharon is a threat to his family unit, even though she has additional visits with him because his parents thought he needed more counseling, Connor could either cause an accident for Sharon on the stairs, or the least he might do is lock her in a closet. The Young and the Restless spoilers say that Sharon Newman's plan backfires and Sharon herself may be in danger in upcoming episodes of The Young and the Restless. Young and the Restless spoilers, Connor Newman adds Sharon Newman to his chant, Sharon, Sharon, go away, never come back another day. The Young and the Restless viewers will recall from last week's episodes that once he manipulated his mother and father, Chelsea Lawson and Adam Newman into a situation where they are living together now, he has them right where he wants them. Connor has the Newman manipulator gene fully in place, which both his father and his grandfather Victor Newman display magnificently at times, such as when Victor recently faked his death in order to teach Adam a lesson. Chelsea and even Adam are fooled, although it is true that Connor was very frightened when he almost saw his parents and Aunt Abby Newman killed in front of him, it was a traumatic experience, as was his father leaving town permanently, or so Adam planned, after Victor showed himself to be alive. Nick Newman will be correct when he poses the theory to Chelsea that Connor is milking this situation for all it's worth to get his parents back together. And now that they are living together with Connor, Connor doesn't want anyone to interfere in his desired happy family unit, including outsiders that could have undue influence on his parents, especially his mother. He doesn't want anyone to convince Chelsea to go away again. Both Nick and Sharon are interlopers as far as Connor is concerned, and divisive influences between him, mom, and dad.